Let's have a look at the football pitch. It looks quite stunning, actually. The grass anyway looks really green. Here we go, back again with another video. And today we're trying to find an old, neglected, possibly abandoned football pitch in Molivos and the island of Levos. And that is an old church, very old church. And you can ring my bell, ring my bell. Look at the distance, the views are absolutely gorgeous. What a beautiful island this is. Here we are in Molivos on an excursion for a walk around, trying to find the only football pitch that I've actually seen from afar. And I don't think it's this way, but you know what I'm like for getting lost? Just wandering around the backside streets of Molivos and just lovely trees everywhere. And I think what kind of trees were there again? Some of them are olive trees. Olive trees, of course, yes. Olive trees, I've seen some. Is it apricot trees? Yeah. <laughs> apricot trees, yeah. I've seen some apricot trees. But yeah, just... I forget on this corner, I can't see the football pitch and clearly I'm completely lost and I have to go and find it somewhere else. But yes, Ross Stewart apparently is want wanted by Rangers and Lyndon Gooch is wanted by Swansea and I think there's... At this moment in time, there's no truth in either. I think there's been, there's been one little meeting between Rangers and Ross Stewart. Just one little meeting and nothing has came out of the meeting. So I'm hoping nothing does in the future. Do you think we should walk up there? Uh, yeah. yeah, I'll have a look up here. It's warm though, it's nice, nice. It's 31 degrees today. Seen a few lizards kicking about. But yeah, I've been uh, like I've been told there's been one meeting, one meeting over a week ago between Ross Stewart and some kind of recruitment officer from Rangers, but nothing at all significant has came out of it. And there's a car coming behind us, so I better move over. Yeah, when you see the movies, the hills of eyes and in wrong turn. I often wonder, have I taken the right road? <laughs> to be fair, I don't even know whether... I actually might be able to see the football pitch from this height. <coughs> yeah, might be able to see from this height. That's it, the Molivos football team. It's not a very big stadium. I'm not sure if it's artificial grass, we'll have to have a look. Because I think it would take, there's not much... It's a lot of greenery, this island. This is the third largest island. Oh, we have public toilets up there. Let's have a walk up here and see if we can see from a distance on top of the hill where we can uh, possibly see this football pitch. I can see from the castle and I do have some out and about video vlogs on the Mad Mistake visits to do with my little trip away to Lesvos in Greece. Lesvos in Greece. First holiday since, I think it's 2015 when I went to Salou so yeah and I tell you what what a beautiful little place it is so you'll love the vlog pop over the Mad Mistake visits and have a look at the vlogs there's the play area we can do a bit of jungle gym climbing a bit of a jungle gym climbing it's a bit breezy up here sorry for the, the wind but I'm sure Aha! Football pitch! <laughs> Found it! Yes, 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 yes. There we have it, little football pitch. With the away and home ends, we'll have to walk around the other side. It's a bit breezy this side. We'll walk around this way. Nice little breeze today, isn't it? Well, I don't know if I can see what this says on the football pitches there. Main stand. Here we are outside Molly Voss's football ground. Almost tripped over. We have the stand in the distance, the blue and white. That's the, the strip, blue and white coloured strip. If anybody out there knows much about this football ground or football team? That looks proper grass out there. 
not artificial. There we go, anybody speak Greek? Have a little wander around. But yes, does everybody actually want Bailey Wright to sign the contract for another season, another couple of seasons? Well, I do. I think it'd be an absolutely cracking re-signing, but I want to say well done Bailey Wright in Australia getting to the World Cup. Absolutely fantastic Bailey Wright doing a brilliant job for Australia and then getting them to the World Cup. Oh, look at this. Found a way in. Sneaky time. Do you want to wait there, just in case? Do you want both of us locking up? There we go. Molly Voss football pitch. The grass. I mean, it looks absolutely wonderful. Pitch looks great. There's a seat behind the goal. Is that right? Ah. It's artificial. I thought it might have been artificial. Yes, definitely artificial grass. There's a few weeds growing through it. Artificial grass. Just we have an old abandoned basketball pitch, basketball clear court here. Basketball clear court. Like I see, I don't think the facilities here get used that often, to be honest. I don't know. They've been abandoned over the years, not any, not any use. I mean, the pitch itself has weeds growing through it. So, very, I would say, there's even, you know, you've got old hurdles on the side of the football pitch. You've got like a, is that a pole vault or, or a high jump? It's a high jump. I think it is a high jump beam. High jump. Yeah. We've got, yeah. Got, got, got an old trainer on the ground there someone's left after getting a basket and we've got the high jump old stadium lights there is the high jump there and then round the inside we've got the the stand and all sorts of creepy crawlies lizards so i'm just like wandering about and it's been a really nice, enjoyable stay. I needed a week away. It's been a lot of years since I've been on holiday and this was really cheap, unbelievably cheap. It's the third largest island in the Greek islands and only, only 20k, 20 kilometers away from Turkey. You can see Turkey from your own hotel. 12, about 12 mile separates Levos and Turkey. So I've really enjoyed it. It's been relaxing come here a couple of times, been to the map, I've been to the castle, been to some hot springs, all those will be on my vlogs. And now we're here at the football stadium and we have the blue and yellow, or blue and yellow. So blue and yellow might have been the color of the strips. And we have oh, footholds again there. There we go. Blue and yellow. It's a bit rickety. We're going here and I'll sit here. Cheer you on the local football team. Well read. I would say this is not, not much like uh, Anfield like, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Couple of seats. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Yeah, about three hundred seats. Someone's left an acorn right there. That's, that's strange, strange. Isn't it? There we go. That's the football stadium here in Molivos. So I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. Just, I mean, I've never had a vlog up for a few few days because I've been away on holiday, enjoying myself, relaxing, taking some time away from everything. It's been absolutely beautiful. So I wonder if the stadium's been let go because of the pandemic. So I think a lot of places in Greece were thriving. And then the pandemic came along, closed a lot of places down and they've been sort of let to go. And it's been a, I mean, a, lot, a lot of locals are quite upset with how places have been let to go. Like the hot springs, that was a wonderful place. And now it's just basically hot springs, that's it. There's no massages there. There's no, all the buildings are closed around the outside. And this could have been a thriving football pitch with a thriving football team. But then obviously when lockdown came along, it might have just been left to, to, to have been abandoned, neglected. So anybody out there knows the actual truth of what's happening? Or am I just talking gibberish? There you go. Let me know in the comments down below. But I, 
I was fancy game of football, but I think 31 degrees heat, I might only last about 10 minutes. <laughs> if you have enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, it'd be much appreciated. Blue top on, matching the blue seats of Molly Voss. There we go. And I think next week the football fixtures do get released, and we'll see if Sunderland play first. Anybody out there have any preference for the first game of the season? Would you have a rather of a away game, home game? Who would you rather play? I'm going to take a rough guess. The first game of the season at home to Middlesbrough. There you go. Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care. God bless me. God go with you. And like the video if you've enjoyed this sunny, old, abandoned stadium in Molly Voss. Unless it's not abandoned. So as you can see, Molly Voss Castle in the distance, just being taught the taxi drive on the way back from the football stadium. And apparently Molly Voss is in, like, there's three tiers of football in Greece. And Molly Voss is the tier below the third tier in Greece. So we've got a bit of work to do. But the season starts in September and last season in the middle of the table in the third tier or the tier below the third tier. So there you go. Again, I hope you've enjoyed this little look around Molly Voss's football stadium in the fourth tier of football, Greece. Take care, God bless, and we'll see you later. Thanks again.